All right, guys. All right, guys. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Sorry about that. I switched computers. And so hopefully we shouldn't have any data issues here. Okay. Um, so we are going to go over uh, trading systems, why we use trading systems, okay? And, um, and some of the benefits and some of the drawbacks too of using trading systems. Okay. All right. So the, the book, guys, the book that we want to that we want to have, okay, um, is called Trend Following. Trend Following by Michael Koval. Okay. So write that book down. Now we give this book, okay? So if you guys go to our website here, one second here. If you guys go to our website, which is monstertradingsystems.com, you'll see the book there. So one second here. Okay, do you guys see our website there, Monster Trading Systems? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so if you guys go to the, to the website, monstertradingsystems.com, all the way down right here, you guys will see free book offers. So the two books we recommend, highly recommend, is Trading in the Zone, that deals with your mindset. Okay, and then trend the following. Okay, trend the following. Okay, by Michael Koval. Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. Now we give you these free books. When you do the one on one coaching, you get Trading in the Zone. When you get any of our systems, you get the book Trend the Following. Okay, now this book here literally changed my trading over 25 years ago. Okay. And I've been doing this for a long time, okay? I've been doing this for a very, very long time, okay? The thing about trend following is that the, the, um, the author of trend following, okay? He, um, Michael Kovo, right? He tried to figure out why, you know, you know markets are crashing, Right? Where did the money go? The money just did not disappear. Okay? So where did the money go? So he figured out that there were certain group of traders, type of traders that made money consistently in up and down markets. And those traders are called trend followers or trend following. Right? So some of the most successful traders in this book, profile in this book, you guys will never know of them. They're not on Wall Street, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. They're, they're not on Wall Street. And um, these, all these traders, the one thing that's consistent with these traders is that they use trading systems, okay? Ed Sakota, which is the most famous one of all, okay, started building trading systems back in the 70s, okay? Back in the 1970s, long time ago, okay? So the cool thing about trading systems, it will tell us when to buy and when to sell. Okay, so when to get in, when to get out. Okay, what do you guys think that does for us as traders? If we have a system that tells us when to buy and when to sell. It actually is an advantage, right? What, it's an advantage. What type of advantage? Minimizes risk. Minimizes risk. How how would it min minimize risk? 
you trust the system, you know when to get in. You're not playing the guessing game. And same thing on the on the way out. You're not guessing when to go out. Um, so you minimize your risk in terms of fluctuation in the market. And you also are not leaving as much money on the table if you were just doing this on your own. Absolutely. Absolutely. What else? What else? Probably, for instance, if a lot of people had the um, sell signal to get out of Bitcoin at 62,000, they'd be a lot happier today. <laughs> <Very good. laughs> and um, how about emotions, guys? I mean, do you guys think the em emotions has a lot to do with our trading, right? So with, with, with signals, it kind of remove the emotions, okay? Understand every trading system, a good trading system has to have two things, okay? A really good trading system has to have two, two things. It, it has to keep you in the trade, okay? It has to keep you, listen now, this is why it's called trend following, right? We want to stay in the trend as long as possible. Okay, but we want to get out quickly when the trend is goes against us. So write this down, support and resistance. Everything starts with support and resistance. Okay, and we'll go through some examples here. And you guys will see the power of trading systems. Okay. So we're just gonna go over uh, example after example. And stop me if you guys, um, if you have any questions, okay? We should be good with data, okay? So we shouldn't have any downtime here, okay? So remember this, remember this, okay? You guys remember the four phases? You remember the four phases? Yes. Okay, so accumulation, markup, so accumulation, the markup phase, so it's trending up. Distribution, markdown phase. So we always want to buy on a break of resistance. We always want to buy on a break of resistance. A break of resistance means that the buyers are in. Whether they're hedge funds, institutions, retail traders, it doesn't matter. They're buyers. Okay? So we want to buy on a break of resistance. We always want to sell on a break of support because when price breaks support, the buyers are no longer in control. The sellers are in control. Okay? Make sense? Let me know so I know you guys hear me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Could, yes. Yeah. Could you just could you just translate that last piece that you said? I know you said buy on breakup resistance. What was the second piece to that of when you want to sell? Sell on a breakup support. Sell on a breakup support. So we always want to buy when price breaks resistance. Here is resistance, and know that when we 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 have resistance when price hits an area twice. Okay. Minimum twice. So here, price hit here, price hit here, right? That's resistance. Think of resistance as the ceiling. So your ceiling at, at your home, that's resistance, right? The floor is support. So here is support here, here is support here. So just remember when price breaks resistance, when price breaks resistance, the buyers are in control or the longs are in control. When price breaks support, the shorts are in control. We have to get that. Okay, so all of your trading will start with support and resistance. Anything between support and resistance, we call that no man's land. There's no trading there. You can't trade between support and resistance or accumulation or distribution. David, okay. I have a question. Sure. You said to establish uh, a point of resistance, it has to hit two times? Yes, it has to have, it has, price has to hit that area, that ceiling, let's call it, minimum twice. The and more, is that the same for support? The same for support. So okay. if you guys look here, 
You see these two candles right here, minimum. You see here, it price came down. You guys see my cursor? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so if you look here, price hit right here. Never got below, never got below this line. So that is our support. Okay, and traders are watching these levels, guys. Traders are always watching this support and resistance. So buyers are watching resistance to take price up and the shots are always watching resistance to take it down buyers are also watching support it's a battle there, there's a battle between buyers and sellers there's always a battle between buyers and sellers when price breaks resistance like here price broke resistance the buyers are in the buyers won the buyers won okay we want the buyers to show their hands first before we get in. We don't want to get in during the consolidation. We want to get in when the buyers show that they're in control. Make sense? Yeah. We want to get out when the sellers show that they're in control on a break of support. Okay, so your homework is to pull up everything you can on, on Google, go on Google, everything you can on support and resistance. As traders, we always need to follow your buying. You're going to buy on a break of resistance. You're going to sell on a break of support. If you want to trade short to the downside, then you can trade on a break of support. Nothing else. Your moving averages, your moving averages here, these are moving averages, right? They will, so they, 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 they divide the price from buyers to sellers, okay? So if the price is green and above this moving average, we should be buying. There was our buy signal here, this blue arrow right here was our buy signal to buy, we bought here. And guess what? Price broke support here. It never broke support. These support lines, it broke support here. We got out. The cool thing about automated trading systems and systems like this is that it's going to draw, get this information to you automatically. Most traders, guys, would have to draw in their support and resistance lines, right? They have to decide when, where price broke resistance and then get in manually. The system will do it automatically for us. Okay, so all of that heavy lifting, the system will do for us. That's what that's our trading systems are really, really cool because it's going to do all that, all the, the algorithms are, are, are designed, okay, to help us. So these support and resistance lines are drawn in automatically. Our buy signal, came in automatically, okay? We paint the, the candles green so we know we should be buying, okay? We should be buying, 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 okay? This white arrow here is our sell signal to get out right at the break of this support right here. You guys see that? Yes. Okay, very good. This is why we need automated trading systems. Okay, so follow me, guys. Pay attention. Follow me. Follow me. All right. This will make a lot of sense. So here is when we bought. Okay, so the buyers came in. The longs came in. We bought here. Price went up. We could have added, kept adding. Price finally broke support. We got out. Okay, remember, we buy at resistance. We sell at support. We buy at resistance because the buyers are in control. The buyers are in control. We sell at support because the sellers are in control. Okay? So here, price broke resistance and failed. It didn't go any higher. It broke support right here, and we have to get out. Because guess what? The, the buyers are no longer in control. The sellers are in control. So we've got to get out and we've got to get out quickly. And the way we make money trading is we want small losses, big wins, small losses, big wins. Okay. Most traders, guys, they get small wins, big losses. 
Okay? That's not what we want. We want big wins, small losses, because we need the big wins to pay for our small losses. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So here was our sell, here was our buy signal on a break of resistance. It failed. And here it broke support, and we got a sell signal to get out. What happened after that? What, ap what happened after we got that sales signal to get out? Markdown phase. The markdown phase. And then what happened to price? Price dropped, right? Mm -hmm. Where was our exit signal to get out? 85,000. 85, yeah, 85, 85, yeah, 85. Just eight, let's, so 85 right here. Right? Mm -hmm. Guess what, guys? We took a small loss. We didn't take this big loss. Right? Now, listen. So, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So you referred to this as an automated trading system. So, and I, I do see that I see, I see the candles. I see the, the graph and everything. Um, is this where the buy and the selling will be done automatically if, if I allow it to? Or it's just telling me at this point, I should manually do my buy or sell Yes. So this is not a robot. Uh, okay. You know, I don't like robots. Okay? okay. Yeah. So this is not a robot. So it's not going to trade automatically for you. Okay. So you still have to, you still, there is still some discretion here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is good. You, you know, we want traders to have um, some discretion. Okay. So having a system trade automatically for you, I don't like that. OK, yeah. so it's, it's going to it's going to give you that buy signal here. So it will give it on the chart or we can have it where it, e it sends you an email. Okay. OK, yeah, that that was my next question as to whether it can send me an email or, or text or something, because, yeah. you know, I'm not watching this. All exactly. Day so it can <laughs> give you. Yeah, it will. It, it can give you a. Uh, we, we, we usually do, we can, we can set it up for text alert, but it normally gives you an email. An email alert usually is sufficient for, for traders, okay? okay? Now, so the, the, the thing here is this, guys. The way we make money in trading, okay, is that we want small losses, big wins. We understand that what we're doing is we're constantly testing support and resistance, if we're buying, we constantly test in resistance. If it fails and we can't, we don't know what price is going to do, right? We can only react. So if mm. it fails and it breaks support, we have to react and we want to get out. Okay. So remember, buy on a break of resistance, sell at a sale at a break of support. And what that does, it protects our account for the next trade. Okay, so that these are the types of trades. So we want to stay in. We want to stay in. Remember this. We want to stay in the big moves. But guess what? When it goes against us, we want to get out quickly, protect our account. Okay, this trade here will far more pay. This will pay, certainly pay for this loss here. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you guys look here, guess what? Because we got out quickly here, we don't suffer this big loss here, okay? Mm -hmm. But guess what? In Forex, we can also go short, okay? So guess what? We shorted it to the downside, okay? So this is the short side. So this is where we would go short to the downside. So look here, follow me. So this was the buy. This was the buy. We got out here. We had a failed long. Okay. And now we're out. But guess what? We could have shorted it to the downside. Right. So here is, here is our short same pair. We could have shorted it here. And then we also shorted it here and still in. Okay. So this profitable trade here, this profitable trade here, this profitable trade here, one loss here. Got it. Hey, Mr. Stevenson. Uh huh. Um, as I'm listening to you and watching your um, watching what you're showing us, also just checking out the chat. Um, I noticed a gentleman made a comment about the market structure 
what's in regards to the market structure when it comes to the trade? Okay, so market structure, what, what, what market structure is really this? Okay, that's a good question. Okay, so hold on one second here. That's a very good question. Hold on, hold on one second here. Okay, you guys see my screen for market phases? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's your market structure. That's your market structure. Accumulation, advancing, distribution, yeah. declining. Yeah, I'm gonna give you guys an easier chart. Hold on one second here, one second. That chart is a bit more advanced. Let me give you guys an, an easier chart to follow. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Okay, you guys see my chart here? Actually, I want to hold on one second. Where is my? What was the four phase on that first chart after accumulation, advancing, distribution? What was the four phase? Okay, I, I'll let's let's. Um, this is a better chart for you guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm sharing it now. Okay, so this is this is a much better chart. Okay, so you have accumulation. Okay, accumulation. So accumulation starts, this is your consolidation. We don't want to be buying in the accumulation phase. Okay, we want to buy on a breakout of resistance. So right here, you guys see my cursor? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to buy. So understand the accumulation phase, that's where, that's where the big institutions, the, the uh, market makers, the hedge funds are buying. That's when they're accumulating. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yep. Yes. Okay, okay, so this is where they're accumulating. Once price breaks resistance right here, that's where we wanna, we wanna get a buy signal. So our system will, will give us a buy signal on this break of resistance. So all of this right here is called is market structure, okay? So we wanna get a buy here on a break of resistance, okay? Once it breaks resistance, expect a pullback. Expect a pullback kind of like this right here. Then price will move higher. Okay. It's going to reaccumulate right, right here. So we got another support and resistance. This is still in the markup phase. So we should be only be buying, 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 right? That's reaccumulation. Once the price hits a high, right? A high, like what Bitcoin did around 65, 69,000. Okay. And fail to make new highs and then break support right there, okay? That's now the markdown phase. That's the markdown phase, okay? So as price comes down, it's going to consolidate again, guys. That's called redistribution. If it breaks support, then it's then, and it moves lower, that's redistribution. Remember, price never moves in a straight line. It never moves in a straight line. So the four market phases are accumulation, Reaccumulation, distribution, and redistribution. Okay, so right now, if we look at, so right now, if we look at the chart here, what phase is this? What phase is this? What market phase is this? That's the accumulation. Phase? Accumulation, right? Accumulation, markup, markup. What phase is this right here? What phase is this? If you guys see my, my cursor right here, look at your chart. You guys should have taken a picture. You should have taken a picture of that chart. Is okay. that advancing? Markup. No, right here, right here. Broke resistance? 
It broke resistance. So what phase is this? Is that reaccumulation? Very good. Very awesome. good, Bill. That's reaccumulation. So we could have added to our position here. Okay. So every time it, we, we have a reaccumulation, we can add. We can add to our position. What phase is this right here? Right here. Is that advancing? Right. It's another it's, break of resistance. That's another, another reaccumulation. Reaccumulation. Very good. We could have added here. And then what's this here? What's this? We have our cell signal, right? What's this phase right here? What's this phase called right here? Distribution. Distribution. Very good. Very good, Travis. Distribution. Now, this is a tricky area here. This is a tricky area. Now, we got a buy signal. Price broke resistance. We got a buy signal. But guess what? If, if price, we got a buy signal, if price had kept moving higher, broke resistance, kept trending, that would have been reaccumulation. But we didn't get that. Price failed. We got price broke support right here, and we got a sell signal. So what phase is this now? It's called distribution, right? What mm -hmm. phase is this? What phase is this? Markdown. Markdown. Very good. Very good. What phase is this here? On the break of this support? Redistribution. Very good. You guys are getting it. What what phase is this here? That is that's redistribution. Redistribution. Very good. And we've got red candles. So the sellers are still in control. We have no buy signals. The sellers are still in control. Redistribution, redistribution, redistribution. So Bitcoin is on this side right here. So if we divide our chart here, and I know we're going through a lot of information here, guys, but this is how you get this, by going through this. So here is how we divide our chart. So buyers to the left side of the chart, this is where we should be buying, 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 buying. We can keep adding, adding, adding to our trade. Once we get past that distribution phase, the markdown phase, we want to be out. Okay, we want to be totally out. If we're going to short, okay, if we're going to go short and make money go into the downside, then we could short it to the downside here. Okay, we can short it to the downside. Okay, and we can keep adding to our short position every time price breaks that, that um, um, redistribution. Excuse me. Can you hear sure. me? Sure, yes. Oh, okay, David. Yes. Um, on on the going short, can you explain uh, what do you mean by that, going short? Okay, it's, it's, it's going to confuse traders, the new traders, okay? It's going to confuse you, okay? Um, but the concept is the same as going long, okay? So all we're doing, all we're doing is we are... We are buying high, we're buying high, and we're selling low, okay? Just keep it very, very simple. All we're doing is we're buying it, we're buying it high, and we're selling it low, okay? That's all shorting is, okay? We're buying high, and we're selling low. Is that for the purpose of uh, taking a small risk to take a, a higher uh you know getting a higher return and taking a small hit is that the reason for the short no 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 it's the same move okay so if you look here the way you the way we want to look at it now it's it's you know the way our brain works okay is that we you know we want to be buying we always want to go long okay we we you know our brain doesn't work where we make money when things are going down okay so we want to kind of flip it but it's the same it's the same principle okay we can buy here get out here and then we can go short we can go short here and get out here okay just know that just know that when we go short whether we whether we trade in forex okay or we trade in stocks we can short our stocks so we can make money Okay, we is, can. Is that the reason? Okay, so you 
you buy at the green section and then you sell up at the top, why would you even want to deal with the other side? I mean, it's going down. Yeah, but we can't can you just... So, David, I, I, I think calls and puts is something that probably needs to be explained and, and, and telling folks to buy high and sell low will make them buy a stock, a stock coming down just as a regular oh, market yeah. purchase. Yeah, yeah I, so think, maybe, I think it's more so the mindset right. you want to tell them. So on the right. left side, you're expecting, you, you're expecting the market to go up, the stock to go up. So you're buying low Over and here. you're going to make money when the stock goes high. On the right side, you're expecting the stock to go down, which is another way you can make money. It's a little bit more complicated, but so you're, you would be buying higher on the right side where the candles are getting red and you're expecting the candle, the, the stock price to go down. It's, it's like being- Thanks, Travis. Yeah, very yeah. good. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I, I, I think you might need a special class for that because folks are going to go out and buy, buy uh, market stocks, just buying them high and, and selling low and expecting to make a profit and losing money. Yeah, so yeah, shorting and, and, and um, is, is, is a bit, it, it's, it's very easy, but, but for new traders, if you haven't done it, it's, um, it's, it's the, it confuses the mind. Okay, so, um, but certainly um, we can go, we can go over that um, after the class. Okay. Um, okay, so another thing that's great for automated trading systems is this, right? We can do, we can do a lot of work with trading systems. Okay. So we, we wanted to do all a lot of the leg work. So we can track here, guys. We can see what what pairs, okay? So what forex pairs are trending up or down, okay? So most traders understand forex, okay? For forex traders, most traders will can only manage two or three two or three, two or three symbols, all right? But when you have an automated system like this, we can track all 40, okay? So all 40 currency pairs in real time. And we can see which one is, which ones are going up on the daily, which ones are going down, okay, on the 240. So we can do a lot of, we can get a lot of information just from one screen, okay? We can we can figure out which which is the top moving pair. So here we can see that the Aussie pairs, Aussie Swiss, Aussie dollar, those are the top trending pairs right now. Okay, and they're trending to the downside. Okay, so from one screen, guys, we can get a lot of information. So here was our short signal here to trade short. Okay, to take this pair down, and guess what? We're still in the trade. Okay. We're still in the trade. It hasn't broken our resistance. So it's continuing to move further down. Okay, you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is an amazing trade here. All right. So we can, we on one screen, guys, we can track all these pairs, automate the buy and sell signals, automate the support and resistance. And we can trade, we can trade as many pairs as we want because it's all automated. The whole process is automated. Okay. When we look at our stock system, so if we were trading stocks, I'm going to go back here. We can track all the sectors. So these are all the sectors here, right? So all the equity sectors. Okay. We can track the sectors. Okay, so it tells us that these sectors are all going down. And here is the, here is the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ, the status of those. Okay, buy signals, sell signals on the S&P. If we were to do this manually, guys, that would take a lot of research. But with automated trading systems, okay, it's going to do all that heavy, heavy lifting for us. So then all we have to do is focus on trading. Okay, this stock system right here, it's called Heat Seeker. It's called Heat Seeker. It tracks 20, what is it, 22,000 stocks. Oh, one second here, let me bring this down. So, Heat Seeker, 
right? Tracks over 22,000 stocks automatically. And every day does it automatically at 4.30. Okay, so every day, this was Friday at 4.30, 12.3. Okay, 2021 at 4.30, it ran. Okay, ran, tracked over 20,000 stocks. And these are the ones that we should have been buying. Okay, and I'm going to run it right now. See right here, 22,000 stocks. It ran that quick and it does it automatically. If we were to go through 22,000 stocks to find the best buys, boy, that would be tough, okay? But having an automate, think of, think of this automating your trading like, like uh, uh, you know, you, you guys know the old flip phones? You know the old flip phones? Mm -hmm. Does anyone have a flip phone now? Does anyone use a flip phone? Any of you guys have a flip phone now? My dad does. Your dad does. <laughs> I do. I do. Oh, your dad does. They're actually making new flip phones now. They make it. I'm talking about the old one. The old yeah, I know. I know. I know what you're talking about. Right. It's a boomer. We need them. Somebody needs to mute. We got some background noise, guys. Thanks. Okay. So, so I want you guys to think about this now. Now, um, 10, 15 years, 20 years ago, um, most traders, even a lot of the Wall Street traders were using, um, they were trading manually, okay? But now it's all, they all use systems to trade, okay? So trading manually right now is like using a flip phone or, or not using a phone at all, okay? So, so as a trader, you guys really, if, if you're not using a system, you're really at a disadvantage, right? You, you guys are really at a, at a disadvantage, okay? Be if you're not using some type of automated process, not automatically, not for them to automatically take the trades. You don't want the systems to automatically take the trades like robots, but you want, you, you want to know where money is flowing, Okay, and you want the systems to give you buy and sell signals. And the really, you will know, you will know if the systems are good systems, if the buy signals come on a break of resistance and it gives you a sell signal on a, on a, on a break of support. But the biggest test for any system is that it's going to cut its losses quickly. So the way we make money in trading is we want small losses, big wins. And it has to be consistent every time. Small losses, big wins. Small losses, big wins. That's how we make money in any, any market. Okay? So could we look at one of those stocks that you have, one of the four that, or the three that's to the right and see, you know, just see what, what the buyers are doing, et cetera? Absolutely, absolutely. But this is what we want to do first. Okay, so let's go through this. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's look at the market structure. Okay. Okay, let's look at the market structure. And then Andre, I will come to your question. Okay, so when we look at the markets, this is the stock market now. This mm -hmm. is the stock market. We always want to pay attention to the VIX. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the VIX, right? And some of you that are newer, this might not make sense, but guess what? You're going to hear it anyway, and, and, and it, it, it might click one day. So what we want to do is we want to get this information. You might not understand it this evening. Write it down. Write it down, okay, because it's important. So the VIX, the V-I-X, is the volatility index. The VIX is considered the volatility index. Okay, and most traders, especially professional traders, watch the VIX almost daily. Okay, just know this when the VIX is down, when the VIX is low, like right here is low, that's bullish for stocks. VIX, a low VIX, if it gets anywhere below 20, anywhere below 20. Okay, down here, it was about 14. All of that is bullish for stocks. Bullish for the stock market, bullish for stocks. 
A like VIX, that. a VIX above 20 is bearish for stocks. Okay. So a VIX above 20 is bearish for stocks. Okay. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to open this up. Does is anyone here? Does anyone here remember 2008, the market crash of 2008? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, indeed. Okay. All right. Let's see here. One second here. All right. Send it. Okay. All right. So here is the VIX, okay? Okay, so this was 2008. This is the market crash of 2008. You see this, see how the VIX went up? The mm -hmm. volatility went up really, really high. So remember when the VIX goes up, right? That's bad for stocks. Right mm -hmm. here was when the pandemic hit last year, right? Mm -hmm. 2020, the VIX, the market came down really bad guess what's the vix the vix went up so whenever mm -hmm. the vix and we have a buy signal on the vix right now and it's moving up so this is not a good time to buy stocks this would not be a this is not a good time to get into stocks okay so because the vix is above 20 right now it's at 30 it closed at 30 that's not good for stocks and guess what the system gave a buy signal Okay, a buy signal on the VIX, but that's not a buy signal on stocks. It's a buy signal on the VIX because it's going higher. Okay, so we always want to know what the VIX is doing before we buy stocks. We want to know what the VIX is doing. Is the VIX low below 20 or is it high above 20? Okay, the next thing we want to look at are the individual indexes. So the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ. And keep in mind that most stocks, I would say 80 to 90% of the stocks out there- Hey, Lucas, will, you gotta move follow, your car back. Will follow, will follow the, the, the major indexes. So the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ. So we always need to know, guys, okay, how the Dow is trading. Right now, we have a sell signal on the Dow. So here was our buy signal here. Price broke support. Price broke support right here. Price broke support. You guys see that here? Here was our buy signal on a break of resistance. Resistance turns into support. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here is support. We got a sell signal right here to be out of the Dow. Here is price right here. So we should be out of stocks. But for further confirmation, let's take a look at the S&P. Same thing. We got a buy signal here on this break of this resistance right here. Price failed, broke support. We got a sell signal right here. Okay. The NASDAQ, same thing. Price broke this resistance right here. Failed. Never turned into a trend. Failed. Broke this support. Right here, we got a sell signal to be out. So we should be out of stocks long. Okay, we should be out of stocks long. Now, back to your question. Okay, here we have three stocks. That is not good. Normally, when we have buy signals and the Dow has a buy signal and moving like this, you guys see this here? Mm -hmm. You guys see this here, right? When we have a buy signal on, on all three indexes, the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ, we'll have a ton of stocks. We'll have, a, we'll have so many stocks in here, okay? So we have three stocks right now. I wouldn't trade these stocks because guess what? The market is, is in what phase? What phase is in the, the stock market in right now? Markdown. The markdown phase, right? It's in the mm -hmm. markdown phase. So we should not be buying stocks. If we wanted to trade stocks, okay, we could short the stock. That's tricky. Okay. Or we could get puts. Okay. We could get puts. Okay. To take this, to take, to take the, 
you can get puts on the on the Qs or the Nasdaq or the spiders. Okay. Now, if we if we look here, our other system, bull master, same thing. Okay. We have very few stocks. Usually we have two pages of opportunities for stocks when, when we have buy signals on, um, on, on, on the major indexes and the VIX is down, okay? One place we can go is our ETF system. So ETFs, so we have a lot of, we have a lot of opportunities here on ETFs. Now these are, you guys might not know this, but we can, we, when we have short ETFs, so short ETFs work a little differently. Okay, so here's a ultra short ETF. So when the market's going down, we can trade short ETFs to take price up and make money going long. Okay, let's see here. What's a good example here? Okay, here's a skews short. Uh, let's see here. But you guys get the idea, right? Mm -hmm. So we have systems, we have systems that are doing all the work for us. Okay. That's why we use trading systems so that we don't have to do all this tedious work. Okay. But if you guys look here, this is a beautiful trade. If you if you were to try to catch this manually, most traders, let's say, so let's say you were lucky enough to. That's, that's a short. It's easier to explain for you guys long. Okay, so let's see here. Let's do this. All right, so here is this trade here. This is a long trade here. This is on the 240 minute time frame here. Okay, I'm gonna open this up so you guys can see this. Okay, so here was the buy signal. The buy signal came in right here. Okay, right here, this is USDTRY, but forget about the symbol. You, it's for anything. It's for stocks, whatever, right? So it doesn't matter. Okay, so here is the buy signal here on the break of this resistance. Every candle is 240 minutes worth of, of, of price action. Okay, here was the buy signal here on the break of resistance. Every, okay, now every candle Every candle is a four hour candle, okay? This trade held, guys, this is 11.3 and it's still in the trade. It's 12.5, so it's over a month and we're still in the trade. We don't have a sell signal, okay? We still have all green candles and it's holding above this, this moving average. I'm gonna ask you guys, how many of you would still be in this trade? How many of you? I was I was just going to say that um, can I can I sell at any time? <laughs> <laughs> so when would you sell? <laughs> Mary, how, well, when, when would you sell? Uh, oh, I haven't really analyzed that enough to know exactly, but I can definitely tell that it's it's on the markup. <laughs> it's on the markup, right? Yeah. Well, without a trading system like yours, I probably would have sold somewhere around 12 because <laughs> I saw it's coming down. I mean, like, <laughs> let me get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we have one trader. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Kim. Kim is on the call quite often. And I think he said he bought in, he, he got in right around here. He missed the buy signal here. And I think he got in here and he's still in, he's still in the trade, okay? But listen, most traders would have gotten out. Um, uh, most traders can, can, can stay in a trade like this. You know, you, you definitely traders would have gotten out here. Absolutely would have gotten out here. Absolutely would have gotten out here. But quite honestly, quite honestly, most traders would have gotten out right in here. What happened? Yeah, that's, is, a, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, most the first traders. Two. Yeah. <laughs> what, yeah, what happens is this, right? As traders, we're so happy that we finally got in, in, in green, in positive. 
right? We finally got in positive. And um, so we take profits. And then guess what? We chase it. We see it moves high and when we just chase it. And we, you know, we what could be a really good trade turns, on to, turns, turns, turns out to be a horrible trade for most traders, okay? So this is a great trade. I can take this, this trade right here and I can give it to four different traders and everyone will trade it differently, right? I can take this trade, a buy signal here, we're still in. And I could give it to four different, hear me now, guys, hear me now. I can give it to four different traders and they can trade it all differently because they're going to interpret this price action differently. We don't want that. A, a trend is a trend is a trend. This trend is a trend. So we can look at it, right? We can look at it after the fact right now and we can all see that it's a trend. All right, so there's only one way to trade it. There's only one way. There's not, there isn't four different ways to trade this. There's only one way to trade it. We're gonna buy on the break of resistance and we're gonna sell on the break of support. It hasn't broken support. So we don't get out. And that's how we make money as trend, you know, that book trend following, right? We make money by following the trend. We, and staying in the trend because we need the trend. Remember, we are going, we always testing support and resistance. We constantly testing support and resistance. So we will have losses. And as long as we minimize our losses, we take small losses, right? And we stay in our big win. This big win here, right guys, you guys can have losses. You can have 30 losses, small losses, 30 small losses. This trend right here, I can guarantee you that it will pay for all of your 30 small losses. All right? That's what we want. That's what we want. So there is a good, I want you guys as your homework, we're almost done here. I want you guys for your homework to pull up this little song by Ed Sakota. Ed Sakota is in the book trend following okay ed sakota started this and listen ed sakota is a billionaire so if if this is good enough for ed this is good enough for us okay so ed sakota is profiled in the book trend following and that's the only book we recommend for systems okay for your mindset is trading in the zone so ed sakota started building trade, trading systems back in the 70s, right? He manages money. We don't manage capital. We build the systems for you. We, 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 we have you, we, we, we give you the systems. You, you, you know, Ed, Sokota, and most of these trend followers, they don't sell their systems. They keep their systems to themselves and they manage capital for the investors. We do the opposite. We give you the systems, okay? So you have the tools, okay? But what Ed did was this. He, he, you know, very wealthy gentleman, but he's got a little band, a little group that he has together. And he put together a song. It's called the Whip Saw Song. So I want you guys to write that down. The Whip, W-H-I-P-S-A-W song, the Whip Saw Song. Has anyone heard of it? I have. <laughs> Bill, you listened to it the other day, right? I did. It's a good song. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? It is. Yeah. So I want you guys to write it down, the Whip Saw song. Okay. And I want to I want you guys to, to kind of play that, really listen to it. Okay. And what he talks about is this: you get a whip and I get a saw. You get a whip and I get a saw. The whipsaw is us testing support and resistance, okay? So you get a whip and I get a saw. You get a whip and I get a saw. One good trend pays for them all. I'm going to repeat that. You get a whip and I get a saw. So we bought that support, okay? So we bought that, we bought that resistance, 
Okay, we bought at resistance. I can find a chart here. We bought at resistance, sold at support. That's what we saw. Okay, one good trend pays for them all. So we need these. We need these big wins. So we have to stay in. When we catch that trend, guys, we can't panic. We got to stay in it as long as possible because we need those big wins to pay for our little losses. All right, and we have to. We you know uh, traders don't understand that losses is part of the game. We have to take losses because we are constantly testing support and resistance. We're constantly testing. So we have to have losses. What we don't want are big losses. So if, if the price breaks support and we don't get out, we're going to get a big loss. So the folks that didn't get out, like here, Bitcoin, we had a, 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 a we, we broke support right here. We got out. Those folks that don't get no out and price keeps going down, they're going to have a big loss. <laughs> Okay, so it's going to be hard to pay for their Shit, for their profit. I'm about to go grab some more of that platinum from you. Look like you chilling, Lily. I love my. Okay, guys. I love my brother, man. My brother be chilling. <laughs> you guys, begin some background you noise. Doing? Okay. Huh? All right, guys. Anything else? I'm up here in Canapolis at my little client house, but he sleep. That's why I was finna uh, see if I can grab some gas. No, but I'm reaching out to you, David. I have a question, but okay. um, I'm hearing yeah, a lot of background right noise. Hi, well. Can... Hey, the Jordan? Jordan? Can you, can you mute him? Yeah, I'm trying. Hold on one second. Oh, what you want for? I probably get... All right, one second. Okay, you had a question, Matt? Yeah, um, I do. Mm -hmm. okay. I know. First of all, thank you so much. You are so clear, mm -hmm. you know. You're and I'm, I, <laughs> Yes, and I'm just starting to understand all of this better and better and better the more I, you know, listen to you. But awesome. my question, yeah, my question was like, well... <clears throat> On your system, and I know, I don't know if you want to discuss this now, I think you mentioned it before, okay. how do we purchase your system and how do we, uh, you know, the system that, that you're talking about, how, okay. how much is it, I guess? Okay, so what I always recommend, um, we'll pull up the website here, so let me share this, okay. Um, Let's see here. Let me know when you guys can see the website. Do you guys see the website? Yep. Okay. So we have we have several systems. Okay, and they all work differently. Okay. So we have systems for stocks. So we have a, our monster scalper <laughs> system. This is a very popular system. This is for forex. Okay, this is the discounted price here, but then we also have payment plan. So we have a six month payment plan and a three month payment plan that we do. Okay, this is Monster Scalp, but this is a very popular system for Forex. We do Forex and cryptos. Okay, but only the four major cryptos. Okay, this is Stock Boss. So this system here is a very popular system also. Okay, stock boss, we trade stocks and it has a, a system called heat seeker that comes along with it. Heat seeker is what tracks all the stocks, but these are stocks that are $6 and under, $6 and under, okay? Now we have what's called sniper trader. Sniper trader is a, um, a system that we have and it works with Friday, sniper trader, Friday data um, alerts. So what we do every Friday, guys, we give you three stocks, okay, that the big hedge funds are, 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 are getting into. So we'll get into, we send those picks to you, okay? And at the end, usually uh, by the end of the day on Monday, we'll give you the exit signals to get out, 
Okay, that's sniper trader. Okay, bull master, we do larger, large cap stocks. So stocks that are over $10 and we track it through heat seeker also. Forex dominator, that's another Forex system, but we do a longer time frame. We do about a, uh, a weekly time frame on this. It's not as popular because most traders don't want to stay in that long. Okay. Um, Monster ETF, this system is popular. Okay. We do, um, we do commodities, um, bonds, but it's only popular when the market becomes bearish. So when the market is going down, this system here is very, very popular. Okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this as your first choice. Hit seeker comes free with bull master and stock boss, okay? Heat seeker is what will find you those stocks automatically. It's gonna track 20,000 stocks, okay? It comes free. If you, if you get it standalone, this is the price here, but most traders get the system with it and then you get heat seeker free of charge with it, okay? But what I recommend for all traders before you get any system, get the coaching, okay? So your co the coaching, the one-on-one -on -one coaching is critical, guys, okay? The one-on-one -on -one coaching is critical because it's not just the systems, okay? It's your mental, okay? It's your, it's your, it, it's all in, it's all about your mindset when it comes to trading, so I do not recommend getting any of the systems before you get the one-on-one -on -one coaching, okay? What, what, what we found is that our traders that do the one-on-one -on -one coaching, their results are far greater than the traders who do not do the one-on-one -on -one coaching. But most importantly, it's not about just the results, understanding themselves, understanding how the market works, is, is a major, makes a major, major difference, okay? Especially for new traders, okay? And we cover that in the one-on-one -on -one coaching, okay? The one-on-one -on -one coaching is discounted. So right now it's 480, okay? But if you go on Groupon, right on the website, if you go on Groupon, right? Okay, if you go right here on Groupon, you get an additional 50% off the one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you go here, Okay, Groupon, and right now, Groupon is giving an additional $48 off the coaching, so it's only $199. And what we do with the coaching, we do four sessions, and it's one-on-one, -on -one. it's you guys with me, okay? And we do an hour, okay? If you in the Orlando Winter Park um, area, you come into the office, and you guys sit with me, and we do one-on-one, -on -one. and sometimes we get personal too, okay? because it's a very mental, a lot of times we bring in a lot of baggage from outside into our trading. So we don't want to do that. Okay. So the one-on-one -on -one coaching. Okay. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. I, I do not, do not, do not just get the system unless you, you're experienced, you've been trading quite a bit. Okay. Other than that, I wouldn't recommend um, uh, getting any of the systems without the coaching, okay? And like I said, we do, uh, we do an hour a week for four weeks, okay? And usually by the end of the coaching, um, you, should be, you should be ready to go, okay? Does that help? Mm -hmm. That helps? Uh, uh, yes, thank you. Very well. Okay. And something else we do too, guys, um, we have several systems and they're different markets. Some of the things we do, because everyone has a different risk tolerance. Okay. And then, you know, so we've, we've got to figure out what, what type of trader you are, what type of risk tolerance you are. Do you like to take a lot of risk or you don't like to take a lot of risk? So we've got to match your personality, your risk tolerance to the market, the right market, and also the right system too, okay? And that will make a big, big difference, okay? We have some traders, they can't, I was talking to our trader today, 
He, he can't sit in on a daily time frame. He, he, he doesn't have the patience to wait. Okay. So he scalps. Okay. So your personality, your goals, you know, all of that has to come into your, your trading and it has to fit. We have some traders, guess what? They work, right? They don't have time to scalp. They can't sit in front of the monitors. They work full time, right? So a daily time frame or a 240 minute time frame works perfectly for them. Okay. We have some traders, guess what? They don't have any time at all. So guess what? Sniper really works for them. They just want to get in on Friday, get in on Monday, have a chance to trade the markets and be out. Okay. Some traders love Forex, right? They like the 24 hour movement of the markets. Okay. So everyone is different. So that's what the one-on-one -on -one coaching is for to figure out, right? Um, and some, sometimes they're, they're traders, I have to tell traders, hey, this is not for you, right? Sometimes they have to tell, hey, this is not for you. You don't have the risk tolerance. If you cannot take losses, guess what? Trading is not for you. And that's okay. There are other ways to make money, right? Okay. I hope this was all helpful. Any other questions? So my question would be if if you if I wanted to just get the coaching and that one system that you were showing us today, mm -hmm. can't can somebody just do that and, and still make money? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But I recommend the coaching first. Right. Okay. Yes. So like if you if I were to do the coaching, the four um, weeks, uh, and then I purchased that particular, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, system, that mm -hmm. one system, how much would that be? Okay, so the coaching, um, so let's go here. So the coaching, you got, you can see my screen here. Mm -hmm. So the coaching, and Ida is fine, the cryptos or stocks, it doesn't matter, it's 192 through Groupon and you do that through Groupon. You just go to the website, okay? So you will, it'll be 192. And then if you wanna purchase the system, so um, let's say you wanna purchase um, Monster Scarper, the Forex system, that's a very popular system, okay? Um, so you would go here, Okay. And that's the one that you were showing us today, correct? Yes, that's the one for okay. it. Yeah, very okay. popular. This is the price here. So it, this is normally the price. Okay. But this is the discounted price right here. Okay. So $17.99. You can do a full payment. Okay. And we, we install the system. We do everything uh, remotely. Okay, unless you're local, you come into the office. Otherwise, we install it, do training, set up training, everything. But if you want a payment plan, right? If you want to do the payment plan, you can do that also. Okay, so you could do three, three months payment at $5.99 and then you're done. Okay, or you can do six months. Okay, at $2.99 and then you're done. Okay. Once you own the system, once you've paid the full amount, whether it's outright, okay, or with or through the payment plan, it's done. You own the system, okay? You get lifetime support, lifetime upgrades. Um, all the trainings are free. You know, the coaching, if you want additional coaching, you do have to pay for the additional coaching, but the system is yours and you own it forever, Okay. And what type of uh, uh, computer would that system be more, uh, you know, like I have an Apple. Would, okay. would that system be good on an Apple, for no, example? No. So we, yeah, so we have to install it. We use the TradeStation platform. Okay. So let me go here. Um, let's see here. So we, everything is built on the TradeStation platform which is what most of those trend followers use, TradeStation. So I'm going to go here. And we'll go through all of that once, once you go through the one-on-one -on -one coaching. 
okay? And we set up the system, we'll go through all of this. But TradeStation, the system is built, we run it on the TradeStation platform and TradeStation is the most reputable, best, best company out there for what we do, okay? Most of those trend followers that's profiled in the book, trend following, they use TradeStation, okay? So what we do is TradeStation rec on their platform, they use, um, it has to be Windows, preferably Windows 10. So most of our traders, if you don't have a laptop, you know, they'll get a, they'll get a small laptop. Most of our traders will do, use uh, like a Lenovo laptop, just a, just a, you know, I wouldn't spend no more than, you know, three, $400 on it, as long as it's Windows 10. Okay, as long as it's Windows 10. So we can't use Apple, it has to be Windows, okay? Okay, thank you, that, that really clears that up, thank you. Very good, okay. The only system that is a bit different from all of our systems is the was Sniper Trader. Um, there is a data fee with that system because we get different data, we get data um, that, that the institutions are getting. So with Sniper Trader, if you guys look here, Sniper Trader, this is, this is the purchase amount here. And it also has payment plans, three and six months. I think your audio disappeared. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. One second here. Yeah, the data, is, data issues are coming back again. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Let me see if I can find this here. A little bit more. Okay. The, the thing with um, Sniper Trader is that there's also data. So you have to purchase the system, but you all, there's, there's, there's 50, you can see it here. It's $50 a month for the data, okay? Because we get in special data from, um, um, from that, that, that the big hedge funds um, are moving particular stocks on Friday. So there's an additional monthly fee subscription for the data. But that's the only system where there is additional, there's an additional monthly fee. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Any of the other systems, there's no additional fee. You buy it outright and it's yours, that's it. Okay, with the stock systems, Stock Boss and, and uh, Stock Boss and Bull Master, and Bull Master here, um, you get Heat Seeker is free of charge. It comes with it. Okay, he, um, Bull Master is um, a lot of our um, options traders like using Bull Master because the, 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 so if you wanted to trade Amazon, Google, any of those stocks, you would find them in Bull Master. But what they do is they trade options. So they don't trade the high price stocks, they do it through options. Okay, and we have many of our traders will have multiple systems. Okay, so they might have um, a Monster Scalper, Stock Boss, okay, or they might even have um, a Bull Master, so that whatever, you know, they can switch from one market to the next, one system to the next, because the markets, you know, sometimes the market, different markets are performing better, okay? All right. But I, I absolutely recommend the coaching first. We used to pro provide the trading systems without the coaching. And um, we just won't get in the same results from, from traders. So now we recommend. We can't make you do anything, right? But we, I, I recommend before getting any of the systems, do the coaching first. And just your mindset and your knowledge um, and, you know, after the coaching will make a big, big difference. It'll make a huge difference in your trading. Okay. So I'm, I'm here in Orlando. We're here in Orlando. It's 725. 
7.25, we've gone on a bit longer. Do you guys have any other questions? Any other questions or concerns? Thank you for giving us a wealth of knowledge. And um, I know a lot of us are pondering how to jump in and start buying some of these things for training. So at least I am. Yeah. It, yeah, it, me, me too. Can you hear me? Yes, I, I can hear you, Mari. Yeah. Oh, okay, because I'm, I'm on my way home from work. Well, be careful and... driving. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's in the car. It's actually better than when I was at work. So, <laughs> but, yeah, so you know what I mean? Like, you're right in, uh, I'm not using my hands or anything worse before I have <laughs> But yeah, I, you know, um, that's the hard part. It's like, how do I, you know, just like what the gentleman said before, I'm just kind of like, you know, trying to figure it all out. And well, um, yeah, you know, I, I um, what you want to do, take it, take it one step at a time. Okay, so yeah, so there is I, there is a lot of information, right? Um, that that we went over, um, but even even with trading, there is a lo there is a lot, of, you know, there's a lot of information that we can get about trading, right? What we want to do, guys, is we want to keep it really really simple. Okay, we're gonna we want to keep it real 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 simple. And, and so when we do the one-on-one -on -one coaching, we've got to understand how markets work. You know, we, are, we have to understand how we make money in, in the different markets, okay? Um, when I, if I would recommend you guys going through here, the testimonial page, right, on the website and kind of read what other traders are saying, okay? Because... That's important. You want to do your, your, your you want to do your due diligence, okay? Um, but what I try to do is keep it real, real simple because you can get lost in um, in 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 a lot of information out there, okay? So what I recommend, if you guys want to get started, do the one-on-one -on -one coaching, okay? I recommend that you don't do any any trading during that it's only it's only one month okay so we want to practice some discipline okay and we go through that so one month is not a long time we got you, we got our whole life right to make money but we're going to go through a process where after we're going to do four coaching sessions and usually that's enough and traders are usually surprised they're like wow only four and and that's usually enough to get you guys on the right track, okay? To get you guys thinking on the right track, thinking like a professional trader, okay? And then executing like a professional trader, okay? So um, it sounds like a lot, Mari, Mari, right? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, sound, yes. it sounds like a lot, but, but how, uh -huh. do we, how do we eat an elephant? How do we eat an elephant? How do, we eat, how do we eat an elephant? So, but, okay, I had another question on that. So I, the but coaching, one second, I think it's... One second, one second. Oh, how, how do we, oh, anyone I, out there, how do we eat an elephant, guys? I'm vegan. Little bites so. at a time. <laughs> one <laughs> bite at a time. <laughs> one bite. One oh, bite at a time. <laughs> okay, oh, Mary, go God. ahead, go ahead. Uh, so, okay. So I'm okay with the coaching. Now, when you're doing the coaching, are you coaching us on your system or in general? How, how much of that percentage wise? Like, let's say I go through the coaching with you and I say, you know what? I'm not quite ready to get the system that you're recommending. I might want to get a different system. It's just a thought. Yeah, can very, that, that's, a, can that's a very good question. Okay, very oh, good okay, question. Thank you. Okay, thank very you. good. So, so um, I would say 80% of what we go through will be your mindset. Okay, so, so you guys will get the book, Trading in the Zone. Okay, so we'll ship that book to you. You will get it. You need to start reading it. 
Okay, you can also get the audio. There's an audio on YouTube, Trading in the Zone. You want to start read, um, listening to that, reading the book. Okay, 80 to 90% of what we go through is going to be your mindset. And it, the coaching is going to be based on that. Towards the end of your coaching, okay, towards the end. And every trader is different. Every trader is different, guys. Okay. So, so when we do the one-on-one -on -one coaching, okay, it's going to be based on your experience, what you're looking for. It's all based on you. We started off different from every, no one is the same. So they're all very, very different. Okay. Towards the end of the coaching, okay, towards the end of the coaching, we'll pair you up with, with the type of market. Okay, you can do what you want, okay, but we'll pair you up with the type of market that we think, that I think really will, um, you will fit best in. Some markets are more volatile in, than others, okay? Some traders like the volatility, all right? Some traders, you know, they shy away from that, from that volatility, okay? The time frame. You know, are we trading on a, are we scalping? Are we, are we, are we doing some swing trading? Do we want to, you know, as, as a good trader, we want to, we want to have the skill set to do any of them. Okay. But starting off, um, we want to find what you're really, really good at. Okay. And then develop that. Okay. But it's, it's a process. If you decide at the end of the coaching that you don't want to buy a system or you don't want to trade at all it's it's it you don't have to there's no commitment there's no commitment to buy or get any of the systems okay you can use the one-on-one -on -one coaching for just knowledge okay of 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 how the markets work and you know and um and and you know and how your mindset is important to trade in. So you can just do the coach. We have, we have traders that do that, just get the coaching and they might have a totally different system. So the, they, they might have a totally a manual process that they do, but they come through and they do the coaching because they need that mindset. Okay. So, so everyone is different, but I do recommend the coaching. I really do, especially um, for new traders. For experienced traders, not as much, if they if they if they if they've been consistent in their trading okay but if for new traders if they haven't you know if they haven't developed the mindset um then it's critical it's 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 just like any other profession guys you know it's any just like trading is just like any other profession right so you know whether it's a doctor a lawyer you've got to you 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 there's some skills that you have to learn in order to perform well Okay, and you need to know what those skills are. All right. Thank you very much. That's definitely what I was looking for. Thank you. That helps. Oh, a lot. Yeah. Hey, Bill I, and I Travis, I, I hope you guys don't mind. You guys did a little bit of the coaching, right? You guys want to share any of your experience so far? Yeah, so far, I'll, I'll share. Um, I've had one session with David, one-on-one, -on -one, and I also started reading the books that he um, he recommended, and it's by far the best experience. It's the best use of my time uh, toward becoming an active trader. He answers questions directly. I don't feel nervous about asking him a stupid question or anything like that, and it is right. It's, it's all about getting your mindset. It's all about letting go of your ideas of what the news is telling us and everything else and just really focusing on the uh the data and the charts and how to read that stuff and put it to use yeah i i, I am really happy so far very good thanks bill you're welcome hey travis you want to say anything um sure i i'd, I'd agree with with bill um i a lot of it was focused on who you are or who you're going to be as a trader being disciplined. Um, I think the book is very helpful. Uh, the um, trading in the zone so far, I, and I was telling David, I think it's also helpful for life in general, not just for trading yeah. <laughs> um, because it's, it's, it's about um, sort of 
tearing down some of the myths that you were taught and are still being taught um, about how you process information and, and how you, how, how you, your discipline. Um, so I think it's very important. I think the training so far has been great. Um, it's, it's like anything else. You learn to drive a car, you, you, you read through the, the book before you take your permit test, <laughs> but then you have to have someone show you how to apply what you're reading. And I, that's what it, it sort of feels like. It's just, it's, it, it's very helpful. Yeah. Thanks, Travis. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Travis made a good point too. Both, both guys uh, made, made very good points. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like, you know, it's like going to drive, a, you know, driving a car and you don't have the manual, right? So think of, think of this the coaching as, as like a manual, okay? A manual. Now, um, and, and what, 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 what we do is this, right? It's not just what I say, right? Um, that book, Trading in the Zone, boy, if, if you can take, you know, I'm just the guide. I'm just guiding you guys um, to the right information. That's all we're doing, okay? I'm getting you guys to the right. There's a lot of information out there. There's a ton of information out there. I'm getting you guys to the right information so that you have a chance to, 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 to do well. Even if you don't make millions in this market, okay? Even if you don't make millions in trading, boy, you will understand. You will understand price. You will understand how the markets work. Guess what? When, a, when, when you're in a trade, and it's, it's just going against you, you will know that you're not in the markup phase, right? You're in the markup, markdown phase. That's good enough, right? Knowing the four phases of the markets that every trader should know, that's good enough, guys. Most people don't know that. Most people don't have that information. So just that information there alone um, is very, very critical. So you start putting all these pieces of information together. You've got, you've got all these pieces of information and you kind of just kind of put it all together like you're making a pie, right? You need all this, all this information. And, um, and then guess what? You've, you've, got, you've got a chance, okay? Okay, so we want, we want the same tools that professional traders are using. We want the same mindset that these professional traders are using. And um, we want the same type of discipline, okay? We want some of the same tools that they're using, right? We want some of the same tools so that we can compete. We are competing with them. Whether you know it or not, we are competing with them. And I know I talked to these guys about it's a zero-sum game. Trading is a zero-sum game, all right? Someone, for every winner, there is a loser. And for every loser, there is a winner. We, no one shares the pot. No one shares the pot. So we've got to get on the winning side. Okay. And so the winning side is this, when they're buying, we want to be buying. We can't control price as retail traders. We can't control price. Only the hedge funds, institutions, okay, they control price. So we need to know that they're buying, we need to be buying. When they're selling, we need to be selling out or we need to be going short. That's it. That's it. All right, guys. Okay. It's a lot of information. I know. I know. Thank you. Yeah, it is a lot of information. I And it's uh, overwhelming sometimes, you know. Yeah. yeah. But it's simple. Yeah. We, yeah, we've got to take it one step at a time. And I promise there will be clarity at the end. There'll be all right. at the end. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so Sounds much for good. staying late. Thank you. I apologize. Thanks, I apologize for all the data issues. I've got to figure out. I I I, I got a new computer and um and um I, I don't know what's going on, but I'll have to figure it out. But I apologize for that. That's okay. And, and I'll see you guys um on the next call. Okay. Thank you. All right, thanks, man. Totally enjoy. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank take you care. so much. Yeah, right. thank you so much. Have a good evening. Have a good Thanks, Bye. guys. Bye-bye.